me again. Now this is going to be a quick short video uh, just in response to a couple of comments that I got after the last video. So here we go. Uh, some dude called uh, Johnny something, he was uh, accusing me of parroting shit that people who know nothing about the life and who know nothing about addiction say and that us as addicts should band together the way uh, marijuana users did to try and legalize heroin and you know stop the criminalization of it and stop prohibition and make it legal the way marijuana and alcohol is so first off I just want to say that I'm not parroting shit, this is what I believe. I'm simply talking about my life experiences with addiction, how I'm dealing with it, how I'm trying to get out, and how I advise anybody to get out, and that I don't want anybody to experience this or go through it if they haven't already, all right? So, firstly, uh, talking about legalization and stuff like that, that is because you and your comment, like you said, you've been doing this for 25 years and you don't want to quit. That's up to you. You want to stay in a life and you want to keep doing that by all means. Enjoy it. I don't. I've lost a lot and it's taken so much from me physically, mentally, financially, socially. So I want out, but that's just me. Quitting won't let you die. You say quitting is going to make you die and rather be used for life. That is parroting shit. That is just a blatant lie. Alright? People trying to quit dying because they quit. Maybe they were doing it wrong. Maybe they were self-medicating. Maybe they were suicidal. That's just something different. But you trying to quit and saying you're going to die? That's absolute BS. Alright? Now, talking about legalization, uh, there's a book called uh, Chasing Screams. It's by uh, Johan Hari. And uh, he talks about the whole legalization thing in Switzerland. You could look that up. Or you could look, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ruth, Ruth Dreyfus, Dreyfus, who was the uh, health minister and then became the first female president of Switzerland. Now, you're an addict like me, so you're probably not going to read through it or look for it or you may even forget it so i'm just going to give you the short version of it she became president and then she then introduced the legalization of heroin she introduced clinics for drug addicts heroin users like you and me heroin addicts and they would get medically clean heroin for free whatever dose you want just as long as you did it inside the clinic you're not allowed to leave with it so that you don't sell it on and you use inside you get your dose and then you leave go do your job or whatever and they help you find a place to live and they help you find a job and you can go there twice a day if you want and doing that crime went down prostitution went down and it was a great experience so that was in switzerland in the early 2000s and then also Portugal followed that later on. So I understand legalization is the way to go. It's much, much better. Yes, it is. Now, my response to you was the thing you were saying that you're an addict for life and that's the way to go and all that. I'm only telling this story because when the book was published, it had been 13 years since that whole system of clinics was introduced in Switzerland. And all the people that have gone into there there were only three people that were there since the beginning. Everyone else had cut down and then gradually stopped. You're only saying that because you're depressed, because you don't want to be present in your life. Just like me, just like everyone else using. When your life gets better and you have a reason to live, you want to be present. You don't want to be, you know, somewhere else. So, trust me, dude, you don't want to be an addict for life. 25 years is a long time, man. That's a fucking life sentence. I mean, tell me. You say it's the best thing for you. Where are your friends? Where are your family? Who'd you hang out with? Also, if 
you want to compare legalization, sure. But don't you ever compare marijuana to heroin, man. Marijuana doesn't kill nobody. It doesn't take people, doesn't make women widows, and it doesn't make children into orphan and orphans and have them grow up being fatherless and motherless. Fucking heroin is a fucking devil, man. It takes your soul, it takes over your life. How the hell could you compare marijuana to heroin? Don't say it doesn't change your personality, it does. The number one thing on your mind is the money for your hit. You're gonna have to secure the money for your hit. That is your number one priority in life. And don't you dare say that's not true. Because, so, whether you like it or not, it does change you. The way your priorities shift. Let me tell you what I mean by your priorities shift and it changes your personality. If you had money for groceries, if you had money that for groceries and your hit, you can either buy one of the two groceries for the house or buy get your hit. What are you gonna do? You've been doing this for twenty five years. So if your house needs food and you need your hit and you've only got money enough for one of the things, which one are you gonna do? How you say it doesn't change your personality. You're gonna fuck everything off and make sure you get your hit because if you don't, you're gonna get dope sick. When you're dope sick, you can't move, you can't play, you can't work, you can't do shit. So it does change your personality, dude. You just don't know it. Or you're being coy. Either way. What are you saying? It doesn't change your personality. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. It doesn't change your personality. I don't know you and I don't know your culture and I don't know where you're from, Johnny Legs. But I promise you that I'm sure that you've lost a ton of friends. You're socially cut off. If you have a family, you either lost it or you spend tons of time on your own in the bathroom or wherever you use your shoe up. So, come on, man. You're saying if you've been using for more than 10 years, you should just accept it and give up and you're a user for life. You're just like those NA guys saying you're sick for life. Dude, you don't want to be an addict for life, trust me. There are so many, many things in life that are better than, you know, shooting up or doing a line. You've just been used to it so long that you don't know anything else. Just like me, like, when I quit, I was like, dude, I don't remember what I was doing or how I was like before this. Like, I used to smoke up, sure, but I mean, my whole life changed. Everything is gone. So, I accept your point of view and I understand it. But don't say I'm parroting shit, man, just because I want out. You want to stay the way you are, that is by all means your thing. But there's me and a ton of guys in the comments and a ton of guys I know that want to bail on this shit. And I bet if you had a better life, you would bail on this shit too. So that is my response to you. If you want to read more about the whole legalization thing, the book is called uh, Chasing Screens. It's by Johan Hari. And you can read all about that. And you can move to Switzerland if you like, if you can. You know, I think they're still doing that. Now, on to the other dude that was saying, I'm motivating people to do this. If anybody thinks that I am motivating you to do this or try it or be stay in this life or stay an addict, that's not what I'm trying to do. You're getting the wrong idea and you're getting the wrong message. I am doing this as a support for any addict out there that you're not alone that you're not fighting this fight on your own that we're in this together and what you're going through i'm going through and a ton of people are going through that's why i'm doing this i'm sharing my experience and my struggle and my pain and my loss with you guys so that you stop if you want to try and if you're in this shit and you're stuck in a rut just like me that you're not alone and that together we can get out and one day, I'm going to show everybody that I got clean and that you can too. So that is why I'm doing this. If you think I'm motivating you to try this, you're getting the wrong message. If you think I'm motivating you to stay in this life, you're getting the wrong message. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want to stop people trying heroin. I want to help people get out. So I'm not motivating anybody to do this. And that's it. 
I just wanted to clarify these two things. I'm not parroting shit because I have nothing to gain. I'm not getting paid. No one is pushing me to do this. This is just me on my own sharing myself and sharing my experiences with you like we're in a meeting or we're in a group. I have nothing to gain except trying to help people. And the dude that was saying I'm motivating people to try this, dude, you're getting the wrong message. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Like, I don't hate nobody, I swear to God. But if I hated somebody, or if I had an enemy or a nemesis in life, I wouldn't want him to become a heroin addict. Because it is the worst thing you could ever go through. It's just, it drains you from everything. It takes everything away from you. So, yeah. That's it. I'll see you soon. Take care.